It's one of the last remaining open spaces in the area. For years, it's housed a small car park, which has serviced the marina and the supermarket. Now, that small area will be developed by its owners. Ocean Village will be building a 12-storey hotel. The Development and Planning Commission this morning gave full planning permission to the project. The developer says it's responding to the call for more hotel beds locally. The new hotel will have 150 guest bedrooms, a green roof and swimming pool, and these will be built at a podium level, with the developer wanting to save the existing car park by incorporating into the lower level. Opposers to the project included neighbours of the adjoining trade winds, but the developer said the distance between the buildings met all legal requirements. Environment Minister John Cortés said he would have wished for the open space to have become a park, but that he understood the need for more hotel beds, and that at the end of the day, the land was privately owned. The minister also shared some of the concerns raised by objectors. The hotel would add to the high volume of construction in the area, with the two schools, the stadium and the old Bland building all to be redeveloped in the coming months. The commission hoped that construction in the area could be coordinated to minimise disruption and impact to traffic. The application for the new hotel has received full planning permission. Also at the DPC today, a big development earmarked for Devil Sour Road. Monument Plaza is a mixed-use building which would incorporate office space and accommodation. Interestingly, the developer is hoping to target the mid-range so that Gibraltarians who currently live at Montague Gardens or similar can move up the property ladder. Representing the project, Ghislaine Delepiani said the development would incorporate a swimming pool, sporting facilities, green areas and other amenities, highlighting that Gibraltarians are also entitled to these and that these should not be just reserved for luxury developments. Monument Plaza would be built on top of the existing Devil's Tower Road car park. It would also build behind the area of the Cross of Sacrifice. At present, the Wargraves Commission objected to the project on the basis it did not agree with the design and how it would impact on the importance of the monument. The Development and Planning Commission said this issue was between the landlord and developer and needed to be resolved outside of the DPC. The Wargraves Commission owns part of the land earmarked for the project. Importantly, Monument Plaza would also house the new College of Further Education at no cost to the government. The development was granted outline planning permission. It means a developer has in principle permission to proceed, but must account for recommendations. And importantly, it must discuss changes to the area of the monument with the Wargraves Commission, who insists they must bring on one of their designers on board, so that the importance of the monument is respected and maintained in any potential new surrounding.